In this video, I'm going to talk about quick create form in Dynamics 365 customer service application. Now, what is a quick create form and how do I edit a quick create form? Now, in order to understand quick create form, you need to understand first what is a create form. Okay. Now, I'm in the customer service application and I'm under cases. So if I click on new case, a form gets loaded. Now, this is a form which is basically it is called as a main form. Now the main form will have a lot of fields within the application. So if you see here, there are like more than 10 fields, okay? Now if I navigate to other tabs, I can see further fields, okay, within the application. Now, if a customer service agent wants to raise a ticket, then a customer service agent will come and say, type in some details, okay? So maybe Wi-Fi not working, and they'll select a subject, default subject, customer, they'll select the customer, uh, and then select the origin, maybe a product, uh, entitlement, description. Okay, so there are a lot of fields to be filled while raising a ticket. Okay, and the customer service agent will uh, not hesitate uh, in filling all this details. So then they'll go into details uh, tab, select type, parent cases if they want to link it up, uh, and then maybe if they want to see the follow up. So they'll put up all those things. And now creating a case has taken a lot of time, you know. Now I'll just go and click on save the record. Now this is good, but then think about it. Like if you are on a phone call and if you want to address multiple uh, user requests at once, then if you start filling all this information at once, it might take up all your time, okay, all the time of your agent. So there is an another functionality provided by Dynamics CRM. If you click on plus over here, so if I click on plus, uh, and if I click on case, then this will trigger a quick create form for case. So if I click on case, it will open the case form. Now it will have minimalistic detail. Okay. So here I have customized it to hold only four fields. So I can select, so the customer, I can select the case title, maybe uh, internet dropping off and I can put some subject and I can put uh, internet not working. Okay. And I'll click on save and close. Now within like a like couple of uh, minutes, I was able to raise a ticket, but with minimalistic information, that's fine. Uh, but there are options, you know? So if you don't want to navigate to the entire chain of fields, you can just trigger from here, a minimalistic case creation form. But how do we edit this form, okay? Now you need to go into the back end, you know? in the back end now if you go into the you know, make.powerapps.com navigate to the tables navigate to the case forms and here the first form which i showed you which was very comprehensive which was called as a main form okay and then the main form was named as case form okay now the one which i'm talking about now will be about quick create so this is a quick create form and that is case quick create so let's start editing this form so if i click on case quick create there were four fields existing in the form now what if i want to maybe uh, remove a couple of fields you know or maybe add some fields so if i want to remove say maybe you know, say description okay i'll click on delete and the field will get uh, deleted okay maybe i'll hide the section and i will add case stage in it and maybe a case number in the top once i do that i'll click on save and publish Once it is published, I'll refresh the page and I'll try to trigger the plus icon over here just to see whether my changes persist or not. If I click on new over here, then click on case then I should be able to see the modified form. Now I have removed the description field and I've added a couple of fields like uh, subject and case stage over here right? and case number rather, yeah. So that's how you uh, work on quick create form. So that's all about uh, viewing uh, main form, quick create form and modifying the quick create form uh, in Dynamics 365 customer service hub application. Thanks for watching.